Hey, so remember that time when I said I was gonna make a video about Nathaniel every single month or every so often and then I was doing pretty good, you know, January, February, March, I got a video done every single month and then April and May and June happened and now we're in July and I haven't made a single video about Nathaniel. I essentially broke my promise, sorry. So here we are, I'm gonna do something a little different now. It's less of a documentary focusing on Nathaniel's life and more just kind of answering a question that I get a lot. So the question I want to answer about Nathaniel is, do I believe God can heal Nathaniel? My question would be to you is, what do you mean by that? When I was little, I would often pray for God to heal Nathaniel. And what I meant when I was little was that I wanted God to make Nathaniel normal. I wanted God to make Nathaniel just like any other boy, just like me. I wanted him to be able to talk and be able to walk and play and just do things that other normal kids can do. What's something that's wrong with that, it's forcing our definition of normal upon Nathaniel. But do I believe that God could make Nathaniel that way? Sure. Definitely, but that doesn't mean he's going to. There's so much that we could talk about that I can't in just like a short, quick video. Let's just look at God's main motivation for doing anything for a second. God's main motivation is to, one, bring glory unto himself as it deserves to be. And for all his creation, humans, and the entire universe to be reconciled and reformed unto the way that he created it to be. I believe disabilities are a symptom or an effect of the greater problem within the universe that sin caused, you know, just the fallen world as we know it. And I believe that despite his disabilities that God is able to bring glory out of the situation. He's able to bring glory through the life of Nathaniel and the joy that he has and the way that we love and care for Nathaniel. I believe that God's able to receive glory through that. So do I believe that God can heal Nathaniel and make him a normal person? Sure. I don't necessarily think that that's going to happen, not in this life. However it happens, however Jesus comes back, the world is remade and all things are made new. I believe that within the earth being completely remade and reformed at that time, Nathaniel will be healed and his body and mind will be restored. And that'll be really exciting because, you know, there'll be things about Nathaniel, about the way that God made Nathaniel to be that we'll finally discover. His personality and his interests and his likes, everything about him will be fully known at that point. He'll finally be able to fully communicate on his own and fully express himself because he's not limited by his physical and mental capabilities. And that'll be really cool. I think right now, as far as physical healing and physical stuff goes, the biggest priority right now is not praying for to make him normal, but praying for the effects of the disability themselves. For example, because Nathaniel has been sitting his entire life, his hip joint and his leg don't fully mesh together. That causes him a lot of pain in his hips. And we've done certain medical procedures to help make that better. He gets Botox injections in his legs and Nathaniel still feels pain, so we constantly have to change whatever position he's in. Sometimes we set him up, sometimes we cradle him, sometimes we lay him down. However, to make him comfortable for a temporary period of time before they start hurting and agitating him again. So really, it's those smaller issues caused by the disabilities that we're praying more for, as opposed to making him restored right now. I feel like what it comes down to is what do you feel led to do if God puts Nathaniel or really anybody else on your heart, what do you feel like he wants you to pray for? You know, we could talk about this forever, but I do believe prayer changes things. It's not just something to do to sit on the sidelines and not do anything. I believe through prayer, we can change a situation through prayer and also find out what else we're supposed to do. Like, okay, there's a bad situation going on. I'm gonna pray for that situation. And also through prayer, I'm gonna receive wisdom so I know how to act further toward that situation. And so if you feel led by God to pray for total healing, to make him normal or to make him be able to walk or help 
heal his mind so that he can express himself better, then go ahead. We will take any prayers that you can get. But if you feel led to pray for the immediate situation, his hips, so that he's able to live life more comfortably, then we'll take that too. So I believe God can heal Nathaniel. I believe that prayer does work. It's just whether it's gonna happen in this life or the next. So yeah, I hope that answers that question. There's more discussion to be had. So if you have any further questions on this topic or other questions about living life with Nathaniel, just please don't hesitate to ask, comment, send me a message, whatever you gotta do. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks, love you.